running a meeting using a mobile device. In this example, I'm using an iPad and I'm the host. So I'll tap on the Zoom icon and I've already downloaded Zoom from the App Store. And note my options over here under settings on the left hand side bottom. Let's tap on general. And as you can see, there are only a couple of options there. Let's tap meetings. And you have several other options, but not as many as you might have when you're using the desktop software. For instance, what if you want to control annotations or screen sharing or whiteboard sharing while you're on an iPad? So you might not be able to do it with the Zoom software, but I'll show you what you need to do. But before we go there, let's go ahead and start a meeting and look at the end meeting controls we might have. I'll go ahead and tap new meeting and start a meeting. Let's go up here to the top right and tap more meeting settings. So these are some of the options you have while you're in a meeting, but again, you're limited. So what would you do if a mobile device is all you have and you need to set up more features. Actually, let's go ahead and sign out of the meeting. On the top left hand side, I'm just going to tap end meeting and end meeting again. I'm going to tap my home button and I'm going to open a browser. Any browser will work, but I'm going to open Chrome and I'll go to zoom.us. Z-O-O-M dot U-S as in United States and go. At the top right, I'm going to click My Account. Now, I'm already signed in because I was on this page before. But if you weren't signed in, you would probably see a Sign In option over here on the top right. And now we have a lot more options. Notice these options on the left-hand side. I'm going to tap Settings. And under Meeting, here are all your meeting settings you can choose from. And you could choose to disable the whiteboard for your viewers. You could choose to disable screen annotations for safety. You could choose to allow or not allow screen sharing. Now when you're done, in order for all your changes to take effect, you might need to sign in and out of the, well, you might need to sign out and then back in to the web and to the software or the app. But let's look at one more thing. Let's say that you started a meeting and you forgot to do all your settings and you don't want people annotating, but you forgot to turn that part off. Well, actually, I'm going to start a meeting and join. So I've joined from a different computer. Now we have two people in the meeting, the participant and the host. And let's say the participant starts sharing a screen. You won't have the option to turn off screen sharing if you didn't do that before in your settings. But what you could do is put the user on hold and the screen that they share will disappear. So now they're sharing their screen. You would tap on the user. And you could tap, you could remove them from the meeting if they're being disruptive, or you could simply put them on hold and note how their screen share disappears. So you could put them on hold then through the chat or through your speaker, you could admonish them or tell them not to share their screen. And then if they want to comply, then you could just tap to take them back off hold. And once you take them off hold, their screen share doesn't come back unless they share their screen again.